The part of me knew, okay, this is the guy. You know how you know in your heart, this is the guy. But I could not accept this guy because he did not have any money. You know, so the truth is what I went to do is actually I prayed. I said, Lord, I believe this is the guy. Why can't I accept? And I realized that there were things in me. I wanted to marry somebody, Mills and Boone. The guys were always much older than the girls. Mills and Boone. The guys were you have always... to say that for because now they'll think that you're older than me. I'm older than you. I'm saying Mills and Boone. Yeah, okay. The guys were always much older than the girls, <laughs> and he was not much older than me. I wanted an older guy. Because of course, you know how it is. No, not a sponsor. Never. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You know, when a guy is, is, is in the mills and bone, the guys were always much older. They were so mature. Um, anyway, finally, um, um, they might, I, might, I told my mom, after that incident where I described somebody else, and I told him, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. From now on, I'm focusing on you. You're the guy. So um, a day later, my mom and I in the kitchen cooking. So I close my eyes, take a deep breath, and I say, Mommy, she's saying, hmm? she's just saying her things on the stove. I have a boyfriend. That's what I did. That's exactly what I said. I have a boyfriend. She just stopped. She, at this point, I was 23. She dropped the pot, the spoon. She just froze. Because I told her, like six years before, that the day I tell you I have a boyfriend, I'm saying, that's the person I'm going to marry. So my mom said, Whoo. I said, Wally. She said, oh, such a nice. Everybody goes, ah, oh, except you. So... Um, but once we started courting, I mean, I got serious. I realized, all right, now Taiwo, no, because I was, I was, I, I stopped that thing of hoping. Okay, let me manage this guy for now as I look for a rich man. So I stopped that. I said, okay, now, this is it, this is it, and um, and I and I knew, and I now began to see the potential. Mm -hmm. I knew that, I knew that if I would stay with this with this guy, all the things I wanted in Mr. Bradford and more, I would see. Come on, say it, like, say that again. That I would see all those things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and now, no, 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 no. Mr. Bradford, over and over and over. Thank you. <laughs> now, wait, wait, wait. Now, say that again. And now, Mr. Brad, you want to become Mr. Bradford? No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> say it again. Okay, so that which the build that what does the Bible say? That which the builders rejected mm -hmm. has become what the chief cornerstone. Thank you. If you didn't marry me, you'd just be looking at me like, no, nah, I'm coveting. <laughs> like, oh, and then you'd be telling everybody, you know that guy wanted to marry me, oh. <laughs> yeah, that would have been your claim to fame. Okay, so, anyway. <laughs> no comments, no comments ay, about ay, that. Ay, ay, um, ay, ay. It was when we began to record, actually, that I began to appreciate what, what I had. Um, um, so his commitment, um, his drive for his vision, his love for God, which is non-negotiable for me. Um, and my parents fell in love with him. It's from a family where they're just boys. They're three boys, it's the first. And his mom had always wanted, God, give me great daughters-in-law. I want to have a daughter. And she never had, so she was like, so that the girl who, the, the girls and my daughter, my sons might will be my, my daughters. And so when, when I met mom, it was like meeting that perfect, it was, I was like a dream daughter. In fact, on, on the day of our wedding, my mom was looking so sad. Like, oh, Taiwo is going. She was looking so happy. Finally, I have a daughter. So it was, it was very, very fun. And the wedding was really, really funny. Um, because we've been married for almost 24 years. Um, and it's been great. It's been, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't know this. When they see me outside, they think I'm this alpha male guy. Mm. But, you know, the truth is that my wife is the most powerful human being I know. I asked and, him once uh, why he says that. Okay, continue. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've been interviewed in numerous places and they say, well, uh, what do you fear? I say, my wife. Do you fear That's not wife? a nice thing because when you say that, people are expecting this draconian woman, this Nigerian woman that just, hey, hey. We've come from far. When we got married, like you heard, I think this will be, this is, I think I need to say this out now. Okay. When we got married, mm -hmm. She was the one that had a steady income. Because I am the dreamer, the business guy, and doing stuff. And so money is not coming regular. So she's the one that had the money. And this is a lot of women, when they find themselves in a place where they are better placed than their husbands, mm -hmm. 
that is where they miss a lot of stuff. Mm. They begin to despise the guy. They begin to despise the guy. Mm. So, um, like I said, you know, she, you, you just had her say they'll have these Muzungus come home, her father, they were very, very posh. Um, the holidays, every holiday they went to England. Uh, me, I went to the village to see my grandmother. You know, um, then they would wear designer stuff and, and all that. And uh, we, we had a family tailor, Uncle Tunde the tailor, who made my, my clothes. That guy didn't like him. The things he made were either too small or too big. You know, so um, I'm now married to this super posh chick, all right? And she had steady income, but I had a dream. I did not have all the income coming in at that point in time, but you know what? I think this is where she consolidated her power, is that she would get her salary. And this is what I'm about to say now is, a, a 21st century chick, somebody living in this season, this mm -hmm. era, mm -hmm. will think what I'm about to say now happened in Bible times. That it does not happen. Mm -hmm. Because what she did mm -hmm. was she would bring her salary then and give it to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask her to do so. I didn't request for it. Mm -hmm. She would do that, and uh, I felt so embarrassed, really, at that point. And if I, if I gave her money from her money mm. to do her hair, mm. she would say thank you. Okay, but there will be situations where a young girl gets to marry a millionaire. There are situations like that, but on the average, most girls will marry their friends or people, you know, on the same level. Know, on, the, on their level. When we marry people on our level, we are marrying beyond the person. We are marrying the future we see. The you know the future we see. And I'd seen my husband had painted such a bright picture of where he saw us going. We are not there at all. Um, but I painted that picture. So based on that picture, I knew that if I'm the one who has the income now. It's just for now. I, I just knew. I don't know how to explain. I just knew. And I knew that this man's vision is going to go far. So I would have been a fool to have been saying, okay, now, so, you, eh, so now you want this money. Okay, you can only have 20 bob for, for fair. That would have been ridiculous because I knew. And when I look back now, you know, when I was saying that, is Mr. Bradford all <laughs> and more. When I look back now, um, I, I found out apparently later on, I found out that apparently that thing of me giving them the money was a big deal to him. I didn't know then that he was. He didn't behave like he was. But apparently it was a big deal that I, I, I respected him. I loved him. I didn't treat him any, any different. And I would, you know, give him my income. And we would, we would plan, you know, plan the month, as it were, with, with my income. And I was not like, ah, my friends are doing this or whatever. Um, I have always known that if I would support my husband, we would go far. I have always known. Um, you see it in God's word. It's just the way to go. Um, and fast forward. Mm -hmm. Fast forward. Yes, yeah, so fast forward. Uh -huh. I was right. Thank you. <laughs> you deserve a so, for that. I was right. Because now... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want my wife to lift a finger to do anything. If she needs 10 people to support her, mm. I will get them for her. There is nothing on the face of the earth that can be done that I will not do for her. But you know what? At that point, when she had the upper hand, mm. if she had treated me badly, mm. hey, 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 Timbuktu. No, you, you wouldn't have, you'd have remembered. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I once told a, a, a young couple that had just gotten married, I told the lady because she had, um, you know, she had a better income than the guy. And actually, in this generation, you will notice that that's, that happens a lot more. The ladies are doing Women very well. Women appear to have They're more. doing very well. Don't be fooled. If you marry the right guy, even if he appears to have nothing right now, 
the right woman with the right guy, she will take him far. That's true. So don't be fooled that because it doesn't have anything right now, yeah, I'm the boss, I'll tell you. I told them, I said to the lady, I said, don't be fooled that this guy doesn't have much now. If he will stand by him, he will go far. Um, it's true that I said every woman wants to marry a rich man. But the truth is, unless we are going to marry other people's men, hear me, unless we are going to marry other people's men and let them be our sponsors, the man that is supposed to be for you is probably not going to be wealthy and have everything that he needs right now. But if you will stand by him and support him, every man with the right woman will do great things. And this is the big mistake I think the, the ladies make, mm. is that they look at the guy, size him up, mm. and come to a conclusion. Mm. But there's something mm. about you know the woman. Mm. The greatest of men mm. can be destroyed by a woman. Mm. And the dumbest of men mm. can be made great. We, men are drawn mm. to powerful women. To women who, you know, and so a lot of women mm. in the name of submission mm. relinquish their power. Mm. Now, submission is not stupidly following a man who is leading you astray. Mm. Submission is, I'm going to hold on to my, to the, look, there's a verse in the Bible, a woman called Zipporah, the, husband, the wife of Moses. Mm. Moses was going to mess up big time Exodus. God was going to kill him mm. and because he did not circumcise his son. Mm. So the woman stood in mm. and did what he was supposed to do. Mm. Now that's a submissive wife. Mm. A submissive wife is not a wife who has relinquished her strength, her power mm. in the name of submission. Mm. A submissive wife is somebody who is able to use her power mm. to protect mm. her husband and to build her husband. Mm. Another thing we need to know is every man mm. has a kid and a king inside him. Mm. And the woman that is able to mm. keep the kid happy mm -hmm. will control the king. Mm. Now, why um, a lot of men, mm. uh, a lot of homes are having problems is because Number one, the woman has relinquished her power. Mm. So the man is going off. She cannot help him. They're both going to the gutter together. Mm. Number one. Mm. The number two, mm. she, has, she does not know mm. how to keep the kid in the, in the king mm. happy. Uh, if, I is a new, if I hear a joke, mm. I cannot wait to get home mm. to share it with her. If I see something funny, I cannot wait to... And it's both ways. Mm. Because mm. there is the kid... And she's been able to get a good grip of that kid, mm. you know. So she has absolute control of the king. And I've always said, you know, people think I'm funny. If um, if if I need to be somewhere, mm. no matter where it is, and my wife needs me, mm. <laughs> you better find another speaker. I'll be at home with my wife. <laughs>